you can really simply in Photoshop create a Polaroid frame or a frame that looks like a Polaroid frame by just using the canvas size parameter under the image menu. Let me show you how you do this. Firstly, this looks very good on the web. So what you want to make sure first is that the image is properly sized for the web. So go to image image size or use the shortcut, which is command option I on the Mac or control alt I on the PC. This brings up the image size dialog box where you can check the pixel dimensions here as well as the resolution. You probably want to keep that to 72 pixels per inch for the web and keep the pixel dimensions. I, I've done the height to 800 here by 555 pixels wide. So to apply the frame now, let's go to image again and do canvas size. You can memorize the shortcut option command C on the Mac or alt control C on the PC. Opening up the canvas size, we get this. What you may get is where you have relative unticked, it shows up in numbers here. I'm going to firstly switch my measurements to pixels here. And second is that I'm going to tick relative in here. What relative does is instead of increasing the document to a specific size, we're increasing the document size relatively of its original size. What you need to keep in mind here is that if I enter a number here like 50, for both width and height, it's going to be 50 wide in total. Since we have the anchor, which is the point of where we're expanding from, because this is set in the dead center, it's going to take and divide 50 into 2, which gives 25, and it's going to apply 25 on each side, right and left, same with height, top and bottom. So what we're getting is a 25 pixel wide frame around the entire photo by inserting 50 wide, 50 high. Finally, go and choose your favorite extension color here. I'm fine with white, so I'm going to click OK. So now we get the simple frame, which is a good frame in and of itself. But we were making a Polaroid frame. And to do this, again into canvas size, Command Option C, Control Alt C on the PC. And again, we're going to, I'm going to change it to pixels as my dimensions here. And leave with alone. And let's say I had 50. To the height, but I need to remember to set the anchor at the top far box. This means that it's only, as the arrows indicate, gonna scale left and right if I had any width set, but only to the bottom for the height. So I'm gonna click OK and see that it extends the bottom, making this Polaroid frame effect. Now to top this off, if I want, I can grab my type tool by pressing the letter, letter T on my keyboard and just entering some text here. Let's do Eric Burns Guild Photo Photography. Let's, let's increase the tracking just a bit in the character panel up here. And here we go. We have a nice simple effect, with an easy effect that you can simply do, apply to your photos and show them off in style on the web.